Hello. How frustrating is that? I hope you guys are finding me. I hope I'm live on my business page now. Oh, no wonder I can't find it. Hang tight. Oh, here comes some people. Jessica, Tammy. Oh, this is not a good start to my evening, but I'm not going to let it get me down. I've got some great stuff to show you guys. Okay, getting ready here on my computer. Find my live feed. Hi, Debbie. There I am. Hey, we have a winner. Hi, Karen. Okay, I'm going to plug my phone in. Hi, Cindy and Beth. Welcome, Debbie. Oh, my Lord. I know, Mickey. I'm sorry. What a circus. There's Sarah and Lisa. I hope you, I wish you all had a wonderful, wonderful Mother's Day. I um, spent the morning with my mom and uh, we went down to Haley's apartment because she's never been there before. So she had to go see her cute little apartment. And if you've ever seen the stuff that my daughter's made, you know that um, her apartment is just adorable. Her decorating style is um, super, super cute. Hi, Anne-Marie. Hi, Cindy. Sorry about the confusion, you guys. Well, so first my phone locked up like it wouldn't do anything. And so I had to shut it off and turn it back on. And then when I did my Facebook Live, it went on my personal page. Oh, my Lord. That's a disaster. So now I'm here where I belong. Um, I'm going to show everybody your shirt, Haley. I am not wearing it yet, but I am going to show everybody. Why don't we start by doing that? Wait, to, um, I, I'm not going to wait for everybody to get in because I'm kind of late already. So here's my Mother's Day presents. I know this is going to be backwards, but I will tell you what it says. It says, the best kind of mom raises a teacher. So if anybody doesn't know, and I'm sure everybody knows, my baby graduated from college yesterday. And this is what she gave me for Mother's Day. So it was super exciting. I hope you guys had a chance to see the pictures I posted a little bit before this video. Hi, Lori. Thank you for popping back in. You're so cute. <laughs> um, I shared the graduation cap that Haley decorated, and um, it was so cute. I was just floored at all the different hat decorations that everybody had on. And um, you're going to see me drinking a lot. It's not alcohol. It's stupid water that sucks the joy out of my life, but my my I'm still dealing with this cold thing, so um, my throat is really dry and I'm kind of nasally here and there, and I might even start coughing. Don't worry, I brought the cough drops in here just in case that happens. So yes, happy Mother's Day to all of you too. I've had a fabulous Mother's Day. Um, let's see, I got the T-shirt, so that was super cute. And then my other girls gave me, I know this is backwards, Harley Davidson gift card. Woohoo! I can't hardly wait. I need to get a helmet. So I think that's what I'm going to use this for is um, towards a helmet. So that's very cool. And I think that their dad had a little bit to do with this gift card. But it was a perfect idea. And then the girls also gave me this pretty little candle. Beth, you love water. I love ice. <laughs> There's nothing I love about water. I hate it. I hate it. You can add fruit to my water. Unless you fill it with Pepsi, I'm not going to like it. I kid you not. I've tried everything. I hate water. But this is a candle I got from Steph and Anna to go along with my Harley Davidson gift card. Woohoo! And I gave my mom a big box of cards that I made. So, and she loves that because my mom sends out gazillions of cards. She won't stamp with me, but she does love to send out cards. Um, so I gave her a great big box of cards. So that was cool. Glenda, you have a Coke? Yeah, I'm jealous. I would rather be drinking Pepsi. So are you ready to see the um, fabulous, fabulousness of this gift? Hello, that's right. I got me some Harley boots. 
my husband bought these for me. And I think I'm going to look super cute when I get all dressed up to go for a bike ride. <laughs> Just going to be stinking adorable. These are the most comfortable boots. I absolutely love them. So my family um, spoils me to death and I, I love it because I love presents. If you guys know me, if you've ever been with me personally, you know I love presents. So that was super fun. Um, what else do I have to tell you about? Let's see. Um, Facebook Live next week. Hi, Michelle Mock. I'm glad you could tune in. Um, I don't know. I'm not going to be here Sunday night at 7 o'clock. I am traveling. I'm going away for business and a lot of fun because my job is a blast. But I am headed out Wednesday to Wyoming. I'm going to meet my friend, um, Dina up in Minneapolis and we're flying to Wyoming to do a whole bunch of work with our friend Barb So the three of us collaborate to run our teams of demonstrators and it's just a fabulous way to Give them so much more than we could each give them personally So I'm gonna be traveling and I don't get in until like 940 Sunday night, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do um, I might be able to um, pull some stuff together and do a Facebook Live Wednesday night because I have Stamp Club Monday night and Stamp Club Tuesday night and Stamp Club Thursday night. So I have a really busy week when I get back. Wednesday night is um, is open for me, I think. So Beth wants to go in my suitcase. I know, wouldn't that be fun? We have, we laugh until we cry. We snort, you know, drinks come out our nose. <laughs> <laughs> Not really, but we do have a super good time, and um, I love, love my Stampin' Up Besties, I'll tell you. So, hi, Lisa and Beth. Um, welcome. Okay, so I have some cards to show you that I got in the mail this week, and then um, I have a few questions for you. So, let me tell you first. Hi, Mary and Katie. Um yeah, we should do a video together, but I don't know if that's going to happen. <laughs> that would be um, kind of really chaotic because we're all pretty crazy. Yeah, us three would be a hoot. Hi, Kelly. Um, so first, I have a question for you guys. Who still likes wood stamps? Just throwing it out there. I was always a wood stamp girl. Loved my wood stamps. And when the clear stamps, the clear mount stamps became popular, I wasn't a real big fan. Um, I do have to say, though, that I love uh, photopolymer. Love that. That's my favorite now. But I do still like wood. And I'm just wondering, who of you guys still likes wood stamps? So, Leave a, leave a comment. If you're just coming on to my Facebook Live, please make sure you comment because I might miss, well, after the Facebook Live is over, I won't know that you were just watching unless you leave a comment. So please leave a comment because when you leave comments, you get entered in a drawing to win prizes. Also, don't forget to share my video. Just click on that share button right now and share it to your page. The more shares I get, the happier I can be. Um, I, I appreciate it. It really helps me that you share my video. Okay, I don't want to hear that you don't like wood. <laughs> I know a lot of people don't like wood, but I still like wood. I want to hear who likes wood. Who likes wood? Um, what else can I tell you? Let's see. Da 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 da. Oh, and if you place an order in my online store, you also get entered in a drawing to win prizes. So I give away three prizes every week. Um, so make sure you comment, share, and place an order if you need to order because I sure do appreciate it. <coughs> yeah, see, I'm still kind of crummy. Um, okay, I'm going to flip the camera now and we're going to get started with a few things here. So hang with me. If you, um, <laughs> hi Haley, I'm going to flip the camera now and if you get motion sickness, please just close your eyes. I'll tell you when to open them. So hang tight. And here, and here. oh, I'm getting really good at this. Now watch me turn my phone off or something stupid. <laughs> that was pretty spectacular. 
Hang on, my cord's stuck here. There we go. Let me see if I can get you in here straight. That looks pretty straight. And now, there we go. Okay, you can open your eyes if you had to close them. Here's my hostess code for the week, you guys. Um, not the week. This will last until the end of the month. So we've got mm, two and a half weeks left. It's Y-H-D-C-T-K-M-U. You can always find this host code on my blog in the right-hand column. I change it every month. It's updated. When you use this host code, that um, gives you special perks with me, like drawings for free stuff and prizes and all kinds of great stuff. So don't forget to use that host code. Now, let me show you. I've got some really pretty cards here this week. This one comes to me from Claudia Swakowski of Kimberly, Wisconsin. Hang on. Got to take a drink before I start coughing here. Um, isn't this cute? Claudia used um, one of the wheels that we used to have. Who still has wheels? Our Stampin' Wheels, remember those? I loved those things. So Claudia still um, has that, and she used it on this card, which I thought was really pretty. And this is using the Peacock stamp set and our Eastern Palace designer series paper and some of the stickers, too. So it says, I'm gushing about this one. Kelly, I have so many things to thank you for. Where do I begin? Thank you for exchanging my stamp pad for the bow jig, for the pizza boxes, and for... Um, and, of course, for the inspiration and all the fabulous ideas. I'm sure I missed something, but wanted you to know you are appreciated. You rock, Claudia. Claudia, thank you so much. You just so made my day. You don't even know. And, again, that's the power of a card. I open this up and read it, and it just gives me a warm feeling. I feel fabulous, right? So that one's from Claudia. And then I got another card from Mary Lynn Weller from um, Port Angeles, Washington. And this is Mary Lynn's card, and she did the black embossed technique with the marbled background stamp. Isn't that cool? And then she stamped a thank you on some vellum. And this says, thanks for the reminder of this technique. I believe way back when it was called Joseph's Coat, and she is correct. It was called Joseph's Coat. Um, she goes, oops, I just showed my age. <laughs> Whatever. Keep up the great work in videos. You're the best. Hugs, Mary Lynn. So that was really sweet. And this is kind of neat because look at how her card only goes up half, well, about three quarters of the back. And then it sits up like that. So that's pretty cool. And then I got a card from Stampin' Up. And I'm like, why are they sending me a card? <laughs> You love cards from your company, right? This says celebrate you. And I thought this was just really pretty. Congratulations on earning the 2018 incentive trip to Alaska. Now, this is old news because I earned this last year. But it says each year during the incentive trip, we select several demonstrators and their first guests to have dinner with a corporate team member or board of director. This year, we have selected you. So I'm super excited. I get to uh, go to dinner with somebody from the executive team or board of directors. Did I show you guys this last week? I'm thinking maybe I did now because as I'm reading it, it's like, did I read this last week? I don't know. But anyways, you can tell I'm excited about it. I've done this before and it's really fun. I got to have dinner actually with um, a couple board members, I think once in Fiji and once on one of our cruises with the president of our company, Rich Judkins. So that was really exciting. I love it when Stamping Up does things like this so that we can get to know the board of directors or the corporate team and that they can get to know us too. So that's really neat. All right, on to prizes. Who's ready for prizes? I have Mary Healy Harmon. Mary, if you are on here, congratulations. You just won a pack of our self-adhesive Tutti Frutti sequins. So woohoo, Mary. Um, if you could, please send me a private message when the video is done with your address so that I can mail these to you. I don't know where Mary is from, but um, I think she lives someplace on the East Coast. So, congratulations. And then we have Deb Cyril. She is, whoops, I shouldn't show her address. She is from Wausau, Wisconsin. Sorry about that, Deb. Deb is going to get a pack of our... 
Picture Perfect Party Designer Series paper, and this is one of my favorite papers out of the Occasions mini catalog. So congratulations. And um, let's see, Deb won for sharing the video. Um, Mary won for commenting on my video. And last but not least, we have Candy Garcia. And Candy is from Hillsboro, Hillsboro, Oregon. Candy, I'm gonna send you this Orange Blossom stamp set and thank you so much for your online order. That's how Candy won. She was drawn from all the online orders that I got in the last week. So this is a super cute, fun stamp set. All right, all the prizes are done. I bragged about my Mother's Day, right? Hang on, I gotta take a drink. We gotta get stamping now. Oh, you know what I was going to do, you guys? I was going to um, unpack my uh, pre-order for you. Do you want me to do that? Who wants me to unpack my pre-order? I can certainly show you what I got. Um, can you hang tight? I'll go grab it. I forgot to bring it in here. And it's heavy, like really heavy. Holy cow. So my husband wanted me to get it out of the kitchen anyway, so I guess this will work good. So here's one of the cool things that I got. This is a um, package of our new colors. These are all the new, um, not the in colors, but all the rest of the colors that are in our color families. So when the new catalog goes live on June 1st, or if you're a demonstrator, you get to pre-order this. And these are all the ink pads. We've got Poppy Parade, Petal Pink, Balmy Blue, Gorgeous Grape. I'm not going to open these up, but um, so you can order all of them in one item code, I guess is a good way to put it. Let's see, what else did I get? Layering Alphabet Edgelets. Oh my gosh, you guys, you are going to be so impressed with these. I have seen them in some projects that Stampin' Up! made. I have not used them yet, obviously, but here they come. And these are all the alphabet, and I know they're really goofy looking, but believe me, you're going to love them. I can't wait to show them to you. So, what else did I get? Oh, here's some. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Where's my scissors? Okay, all right. Hi, Julie. Hi, Dawn. Glad you want to see all these goodies. Here we go. This is called Garden Impressions. Oh my gosh, look at that beauty. You get four sheets of each of this. Super pretty floral designs. Holy cow. Oh, my head is spinning. This is the first time I'm seeing this in real life, so I am having just as much fun as you are. Wow. Let me get that box out of the way, stupid thing. Hang on, I got an itch. <laughs> Didn't really need to share that, did I? Okay, look at that. How pretty is this paper? Here we go. Oh, that's different, isn't it? Oh, look at that. That's really different. I love those flowers. I don't want to miss any here. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I'm excited. Yeah, when I get done with my Facebook Live tonight, I have to start working on my stamp club for tomorrow night and some um, swap cards. This, I think, is the stamp set that goes with this paper, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, but I think it is. It's called Abstract Impressions. I love all these little elements, and of course, I love the font on the words here, too. So that's really pretty. Let's see. Itty Bitty Greetings. This is um, a brand new Itty Bitty. We had Itty Bitty something or another that's retiring, but now we've got this. And look at the fonts. They're all different. And you've got a million different greetings here. Love these. I'm excited. That was a free stamp set too, by the way. I got this free for going to on stage. We got to pick out one free stamp set. 
Here's the stamp set that goes with that alphabet framelit set. Oh, I love this one. I'm so excited. I saw this in the catalog and I knew I had to have it. First of all, look at the font. And then these candles just grabbed me with the wish big in there. Super cute. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm not following very good with um, with the comments. You guys know I'm kind of bad at that. I get so excited. Stitched all around. This goes with a set of framelits that I have been dying to look at. It's a bunch of frames, and I just think it's super cute. And I just see so many possibilities with it. Aw, thanks for showing the love, you guys. Here we go. Oh, I hate it when this sticks to stuff. Look at these frames. Well, let me get this yucky paper out of the way. There we go. Sound effects tonight, too. Look at those frames. They are gorgeous. I think these just, um, this is going to um, do the little stitch marks. And this does little X-y marks. How about that? There's a new word. Oh, my gosh. I love this. This is going to be so much fun. Goes with the stamp set. I'm excited. Don't you hate putting these back in here? It's like, oh my gosh, you can never get them back in right. Here, let me set this over here. Here's another cool one. Accented Blooms. Accented Blooms goes with this punch. This punch was in the Truly Tailored bundle in the Occasions Mini Catalog, so I'm excited that they kept it, and I'm excited we have another stamp set to go with it, right? All right. And then these are all the markers of the new colors. So you're also, as a customer, when June 1st comes, you're going to be able to order all the new marker colors. You don't, you know, because like right now, we can only order our markers in Subtles or Regals or Brights. And um, Stampin' Up! has all the new ones in here so you can slip them in. So that's really cool. They understand what we need. What is this? Springtime Impression Thinlets. Oh, really? There's a stamp set paper and thinlets. Ah, who knew? I guess I did when I put my order in. All right. Oh, look at that. These are the framelits. Holy cow. They go with this. Oh, I may never go to bed tonight. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's over for me now. I'm going to be up all night. That's okay. Oh, I have exciting news, you guys. So I whined and whined last week about that horrible picture my husband posted of me where I realized how much weight I have gained. I have lost six pounds. Six pounds in nine days. And I am not starving myself. Am I hungry? Yes. But I need to lose weight. So you're going to be hungry, right? Oh my gosh, look at these buttons. So I've lost six pounds. Woohoo! Oh, these are so pretty. They're, they're like see through y. There's a new word for you tinted, faceted buttons. These are just mm, delicious. Delicious. Can't wait to use those. What else can I show you? Oh, is this different paper? It is different paper. This is our new in color designer series paper. Oops. Gotta be able to open the package like an adult. <laughs> okay, ready? These are the new in colors and this paper pack. I love stripes and polka dots, right? They are so trendy. Love, 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 love. Yeah, the water helps. I know. Thanks, Kim. It does help. And you know what else I've been doing? Before I got sick, I got sick last Monday night. But before I got sick, I went to the gym. Let's see, we got back Thursday from Mexico. I went to the gym Friday and did a Simply Fit class, which will really kick your butt. And then, um, is this the same paper? Yep, I got three packs of that. Woohoo me. Then on Saturday morning, or Saturday, I had a card buffet, but after my card buffet, I had to work really hard to go any place to work out um, because my gym was closed, and it's a long story, but anyways, I went for a long bike ride to the park where they have all the resistance weight training machines. So I rode two or three miles, I think it's three miles, over to the park, did the machines, 
rode back home, and then that was Saturday. Sunday, I went to um, Zumba with Haley, kicked my butt, and then Monday, I went to um, Nine Round, which is a cardio kickboxing um, workout center that I joined last month, and did that, and then Monday night, I got sick, so boom. In color markers, that was the end of my great job, Kelly. Yeah. Okay, I got lots of cardstock here. And ribbon. This is eighth inch grain. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. I always say it wrong. I've got some black cording here. I didn't get all the colors in this yet because, as you know, buying all the colors is a little pricey. But I did get um, three of them. I need to be able to work with swaps because right now as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, we are crazy, crazy busy doing, um, making swap cards. So we have lots of things to show you guys when that catalog goes live. And I've done a few, um, a couple sneak peeks, right? Ma, oh, hang on. I got stuff falling all over. Ooh, I have to tell you, I lost a stamp the other day. I couldn't find it. And I thought it was lost the minute I opened up the case. Like I lost it the last time I used it. Hang on, everything's okay. <laughs> I'm just dropping some ink pads. And um, I was wheeling around in my chair here, and I looked down, and there it was on the floor. Oh, my gosh, I was so relieved. It was just this little clear photopolymer stamp. And um, I ran over it like two or three times with my chair. Let me tell you. It is un not marred at all. It's a solid little little stamp. It's the um, the stem for the strawberry in the fruit basket set. And so it's a solid stamp. And you would think it would have some marks or it would look real stupid after I ran it over. But it doesn't. It is in perfect shape. So that goes a long ways to tell you that the quality of the rubber that Stampin' Up! uses to make stamps is superior to most um, companies rubber that they use making their stamps. All right, enough about that. Let's see what I'm going to make here. Here comes my basket. Basket of love. Here we go. Hang on. I got a drink again. Ugh, hateful. <laughs> I know I'm really whiny. Okay, here we go. I am going to I've got some neat cards to show you guys and some really funky cards. Like, you're going to love what I'm going to be showing you. Here we go. First of all, I am going to bring in our stamp set. Who has two, the fruit basket and the um, little punches? Who has this little bundle? All these cute little punches. We have a pair um a pineapple, a slice of fruit like an orange or a lemon or a lime, and a strawberry. These are stinking adorable. So, if you have this bundle, you are going to love what I make. If you don't have it, it is still available, as well as... Where's my paper? Hang on. I am going to find... I think I'm ready. Yep, I put it in the wrong basket. This tutti fruity paper, this comes in a six by six pack. You get four, I think, of each sheet. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's four. And it's on page 29 in the Occasions mini catalog. Look at the fun paper. I know I've shown this in videos before with some cards that I made, and I'll show you those too, the cards that I've already made. This is just so stinking cute. Tutti fruity designer series paper. Okay. Let's get rocking here. Oh, I gotta get some ink pads out. What am I using? This, and this, and this. Okay, I'm going to start off with a cool technique. Um, this is our Whisper White Thick cardstock, and I have this, it's four and a quarter by 11, and I have it scored at five and a half. So I'm just, you know, doing my thing with the bone folder there. I might be at a loss for words tonight because, I don't know, my brain is still a little foggy. You know, for the graduation yesterday, I did really, really good. I felt good. We had a good time. 
but today I was kind of dragging butt again. So I'm thinking that I'm not 100%. And I'm coughing now and I'm blowing my nose. Okay. This is my um, Daffodil Delight layer. And it is three and three quarters by five. And here's what I'm going to do with it. So I'm going to use the pineapple image on here. And a pineapple um, isn't plaid, but it's more like, what do they call that? Oh, see, I told you I was going to have trouble remembering things. Um, argyle. It's more like an argyle, right? So I'm bringing in the stripes folder. This is in the Occasions mini catalog. This is carrying over to the big catalog. And I'm going to put my cardstock in here on an angle because I want to make some argyle patterns on this layer. So we're going to run that through our big shot. We may wiggle a little bit, so hang tight. My desk is not super sturdy. Remember I keep saying that I'm going to get a new desk and that'll go away. Okay, so this is what we have. And while that is cool, now we're going to turn it this way. So all I did was take it from here and now I'm going to go this way and we're going to have an argyle pattern in here when we're done. And at this size, you got to kind of watch so you don't bend over that top corner because I did that on one of my layers and um, it tore off. <laughs> Yeah, it wasn't funny. I can laugh. See, it almost bent over again, so make sure that stays up there. There we go. You don't want it to bend. Okay, and then hold on to it so it doesn't slide around in that embossing folder, and we're going to run that through again. And here it comes. What do you guys think? It's very cool, right? I love, love, love it. Thank you, everybody. I'm just reading some of my comments. Thank, uh, congrats on the weight loss. You know what? I feel better already. Six pounds lighter. I really do. So there is our Argyle. Very, very cool. This is the inverted side, and this is the raised side. Oh, I see I have a fuzz or something. All right, let's make the rest of our card here. Get this out of the way. Okay, we are going to mount this on, where's my glue? Oh, you know what? I think I put my glue in my drawer thinking that was an extra bottle. Sweet me. I don't know. I might have to get a new bottle too. Okay, um, you could actually use either side. You could use this side or you can use this side. I'm going to use the lines facing up or sticking out like you would normally. But you could use the lines going in, too. Either one would look really cool. And sometimes, darn it, this happened to me again. Sometimes, look at how I have hardly any margin on the sides and then a margin on the top that is bigger. Um, sometimes when you run your paper through um, the big shot in an embossing folder, it squishes it and makes it a little bigger, right? So I'm going to leave that. I think that's going to be fine. But if you wanted to, you could trim that top and bottom off now. But I'm going to leave it right there. Okay, I'm going to take my black baker's twine. This is like a go-to for me. I love the baker's twine. It doesn't add any extra bulk in your card. It's always inexpensive. You get a ton of it. I'm going to wrap that around three times and cut it to tie it in a bow. And when I use Baker's Twine, I tie it a knot first before I attempt that bow because I don't have anybody in here helping me. So I don't have a finger to hold that in place, right? I need to move this over just a little bit more. There we go. We're going to tie that in a knot. Okay. Hi, Mary Lynn Weller. It's okay that you're late. You can always catch the beginning. Um, later after we're done, no big deal. Let me do this. There we go. That wasn't too painful, was it? I always like to hold my loops while I'm pulling my tails down because if you don't, your baker's twine tends to twist up and then your bow looks funky. So if you have a hard time making nice bows, that's why. There is your 
there's your problem right there. You gotta hang on to that when you're pulling those loops smaller. Here we go. So let's see if I can get this on here straight. Okay, and then the one thing that I did to the inside, you guys know I like a little, little pep on the inside. I just took a half inch piece of the striped designer series paper and that's the stripes on the back of the bananas. Half inch by four and a quarter. And I'm just gonna put that, put some glue down here and glue that right at the bottom of the inside of my card so that when I write in it and they open it up, it's just gonna be stinking adorable in there too. You can never have too much stinking adorable. You know this, right? <laughs> okay, then I cut out a um, square from the stitched shapes. Maddie has not pulled this set out yet. Well, you will get it out after tonight. <laughs> um, I am going to my, get the same set out here, first of all. I've got it all mounted here. And we're going to use this one and this one and that stinking little adorable pineapple. And then we've got the pineapple top, the You Are the Sweetest. So here's the first thing I'm gonna do. I am going to um, use the words, You Are the Sweetest, and I'm going to put that right on my square. Make sure I get that inked up right. Okay, I'm gonna pull this down just a little bit so I can make sure I get it straight without sticking my head too far into <laughs> the um, camera. You know, you need to be over stuff to see what you're doing. Okay, then I'm going to bring in crumb cake ink. And by the way, that was just black memento. Now I've got crumb cake and I'm going to stamp up this bowl. And put it right there. Oh, that turned out good. And then you've got the bowl outline. And I'm just using Memento Black for that again. And I'm going to pull this down here so I can make sure I'm getting it on there right. Or I can stick my head in the camera. Oh, amazing. Yep, it worked. <laughs> it's always, you know, it's a, it's a crap shoot. When you're live, you don't know if you're gonna get things where they need to be or not. Then what I did is I stamped a bowl on my little post-it notes. So I've got that stamped on there and I am going to mask the bowl that I just stamped here. And get out my lemon lime so I can do my little pineapples. These are so cute. Hang on just a second, we're gonna go bloop. Here comes another one. I just kind of want to be have them all stacked in the bowl. There we go. Got four of those. And as long as we're doing that, I shouldn't have cleaned my stamp because we're going to make three on a scrap of white. And I can see that I really dunked my ink or my um, block into that yellow. So I'll clean that off. And then we've got lemon lime twist for the little pineapple stems. And these are adorable. And here comes my head again, so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. And then we're gonna put some stems on these little guys. Whoops, that didn't turn out very good, but don't worry, it's not gonna, you're not gonna notice it. I kinda stamp it a little too low from way back here. There we go, isn't that cute? It's already cute. We can take this off now. And I usually, what I do when I make a mask like this, you guys, I will take it and stick it on the inside of my stamp case lid so that if I wanna do something with masking in this bowl again, I don't have to recreate that, right? There's your tip of the day. Okay, pineapple punch. Oh, <laughs> punches are flying. Here we go, I'm just gonna punch out these cute little pineapples. Let 
There we go. And then I've got, what? But our mini dimensionals. These are so perfect for these tiny little things. If you don't have mini dimensionals, get yourself some. Because you don't have to cut up dimensionals anymore. You get like 700 of them in a pack and they are the bomb. I still use big dimensionals for bigger um, elements and you'll see in just a second. Ooh, did you see that pineapple try to get away from me? I love pineapple. I just, my sister just sent me something saying that pineapple juice is super good for colds. I never heard that before, but I suppose any kind of juice is really good for colds. And now I'm just going to put these three little punched pineapples, oh, keep sticking to me, in between the ones that I have here, stamped in the bowl, on the, on the layer, that's what I meant to say. Here we go. <laughs> Isn't it cute? I know, right? Okay, next, where'd my sheet of dimensionals go? Here they are. These are the bigger dimensionals, and I do use these. This is a big enough piece that I'll put four on this. Oh, now my stomach's starting to rumble. I had, um, barbecued ribs. I ordered a half a rack of ribs at the graduation dinner yesterday. By the way, if you guys are local, we went to the ground round in Nina and it was horrible. Like my meal was good. My stepdaughter Stephanie um, ordered fettuccine alfredo with broccoli in it and it just tasted like nothing. And... My husband and my stepdaughter Anna had the prime rib sandwich, which was really big, but it was filled with gristle and fat. Three quarters of it was just throw away. It was disgusting. Um, they brought the wrong dish out for somebody, and it was a hamburger instead of a chicken sandwich, and he said, no problem, I'll eat it anyways. And um, he cut it in half and went to eat it, and it was raw. And I mean raw. I like stuff... Um, medium rare. This was raw. It was disgusting, so we had to send that back. Um, it was just not good. I was really very disappointed, and it was quite pricey, too. <laughs> Anyways, here's our cute little card. I'll stop whining about the food, but that's what I had earlier was my other half a rack of... I had a half a rack, so I had a quarter of a rack today, and oh my gosh, my ribs were delicious. So if you want ribs, go there. Anything else, forget it. But isn't that just stinking adorable? And this is just a really cute, simple little card to make. But this was the little technique to do that argyle in the background there. All right, are you ready for another one? I'm excited. Okay, here comes another super cute card using the Fruit Basket stamp set and a tutti fruity bundly thing. All right, let's see what I got in here. Do I have any cheating going on? Here we go. Hang on, I just dropped a layer. All right. We are going to start with, I'm gonna get out some of my Fruity Tootie sequins for this. We are going to start with a base lemon lime, and this is four and a quarter by five and a half. Thanks you guys, I'm the cute card. I thought it was cute too. So here's our card base, and here comes our white layer, and this is what we're going to do to this. I actually found um, kind of this layout. I use different stamps for it, but I found this layout um, on a demonstrator from New Zealand's blog. So she um, used this with, uh, I don't even remember if it was the strawberries or something else. But I just thought it was super sweet. I changed it up just a little bit. Where's my aqua painter? And I'm just, I put some ink in the lid. This is Daffodil Delight. And I'm just going to add some water. And I'm squeezing, squeezing, squeezing here. Thank you for sharing, Debbie. Appreciate it. You guys, don't forget to comment if you're watching me. That's the only way I can enter you in the drawings. And share my video if you would, please. I really appreciate that. Don't forget to use the hostess code if you're planning on placing an order. You'll find it right here. 
because that gives you special perks with me. Okay, so I just basically smooshed this color around kind of in a circle. I think maybe I'm going to go just a little bit lower here with an aqua painter. And this is just regular Whisper White cardstock. And the Whisper White layer is uh, three and three quarters by five. Okay, so I've got that done. Now I'm going to come in with, where did that pineapple go? What happened to my pineapple? Um, here's my pineapple stem. Here's my little pineapple. Oh, here it is. This is what I'm looking for. So I'm bringing in my memento and I'm going to, there's an outline stamp with the pineapple and I am just going to stamp this in black and stamp some of the outline pineapples around here. Oh, did you see what I did? This is why you keep your other ink pads away from you. I just pushed it into the green and that's how you clean it off. Just take the ink out of it. Whew, let's do that. There, everybody knows I'm human, right? <laughs> I do it too. Okay, so there's our little pineapples. Let's put one right out here. And then we're going to take, let's close that up, our Daffodil Delight and stamp some colored pineapples around. I just thought this was a really cute way to use that outline pineapple. Super, super cute. And our stem, here comes our green. Now you guys, for those of you who've never done this where I took that ink out of there with a baby wipe, all you do is dab at it. You don't rub it. You don't want to make up suds and baby wipe juice all over it. You just dab at it until you can't see that black color anymore. And then um, the ink will kind of even itself out. But if you have to do it right in the middle, you just re-ink it. And that's how you get rid of ink you don't want in an ink pad. And here comes our cute little stems. Oh, I hope I can... There we go, one more. Cute, cute, right? Okay, then, do I have a scrap? Yep, I have one more scrap here. I am going to, oh, look, I got ink all over that. Take my pineapple and I'm gonna make one on this little scrap. And then I also need the stem on there. I'm gonna pull this back towards me so I don't get it. Oh, so I screwed up royally, that's what I just did. Oh, that looks fine. <laughs> try to cheat and, and then I'm gonna punch one of these out and we're gonna put a little mini dimensional on it because it fits perfect right we're gonna save that so don't let me lose that if I go ah, oh, where did that go you guys can tell me it's right there okay well Debbie thank you I so enjoy creating for you I love this all right now I've got a half inch strip of lemon lime and it doesn't matter really how long it is you're gonna make it as long as your greeting oh I need to punch the end of it first so did you guys catch my Wednesday tip of the week where I showed you how to make a template you know this is the banner triple punch and you get um, where you can put in a one inch a one and a half inch or a two inch layer in here to punch but there's nothing in between and so I made a template so that I can punch half inch banners perfectly every time yeah genius right thank you okay so I'm just going to put this right in the middle push it all the way in and make sure it's lined up good there and punch that out and you're gonna have a perfect little punch every time I've also got um, oh this is some of the Tutti Fruity paper, and this is the Kiwis, our black and white striped on the back. So that's where I'm getting the black and white stripe from. I'm going to push this in there. This is another half inch strip, and I just, it's half inch by six, and I'll trim it down to whatever I need it to be. And again, punch perfect every time. So if you missed that video, you can go to my YouTube channel. You just do a search for me, Kelly, at a stamp above. Um, no, sorry, it's under Kelly Atchison, my YouTube channel. And then you click on Kelly's channel and then videos, and you will be able to find the um, 
video I did showing how to make those. So here's the You Are the Sweetest. And I am going to use that with the black stripes. And I'm just going to kind of offset it a little bit here. Now I'm just going to do a dry fit. See how big I want this to be. I need to get my little pineapple in here. I found it, don't worry. Here comes my little pineapple. Okay, so there we go with that. Now, again, I'm just doing a little dry fit here to see how long I want this to be. Now what I'm going to do is these are our um, delicate white doilies. You get a ton of them in a pack. I took one and cut it in half. And then I cut it in half again. So cut it in half and then cut it in half because I need these two pieces. And what I'm going to do with these, I'm going to trim off these tips a little bit there. I'm going to add just a touch of glue. I don't need much. And again, I'm doing a dry fit with these because I'm going to have these offset. So I'm going to bring them in. I just want a little bit of that doily up above. Okay. Okay, so that's stuck there. That's good. And then I can trim off this excess here. Don't need that. And I'm going to put it back down here. And I'm going to bring this other one in and put it underneath. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on there. It'll stick just perfect. Holding this all together. And that looks about right, doesn't it? How did I do? Let's see. Yep, that not that cute? That is stinking adorable. All right, we're going to glue this on. And do I want it out there that far? Let me bring this back in here. Eh, yeah, that looks good. Okay, there we go. And then we're going to trim this off. And next, I am going to use some mini dimensionals on this little layer. I'm going to put one here on the back and one right over here. How's everybody doing? <laughs> I'm like, I'm just stamping away. And then I look over and it's like, oh yeah, people are commenting. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I just go in my own little world here. There we go. Isn't that cute? It is cute. Okay, so one thing that I wanted to do, hang tight for just a second. One thing I should have done before I did this is, well, this is going to be kind of crooked. It'll be okay. I'm just going to cut this off and I'm going to trim this. I'm just going to cover up my banners right here because I wanted to flick this card with the marker. I wanted a little flicking on here and I forgot. I should have done it before I put anything on there. So I just took the lid off my marker. You're going to put the, the um, coloring end in here and just flick it. That's going to take up some of that starkness and that background. You can do this with any of our markers. It is really fun. Now the thing is is that it takes a little bit for this to dry so don't touch it. But it will dry in just a few seconds. I made a mistake one time of grabbing it right away and I smeared it and then I was really mad. You know. You know how it happens. Okay. Next we can put our card together. Hi Mary. It's okay that you were late. You can stop in later and watch the beginning when we're all done. And besides, you missed the fiasco at the beginning where I my phone locked up, I couldn't get on live, and then I came on my personal page instead of my business page. <laughs> yeah, we had a whole fiasco going on here, Mary. So you're just fine. And here we go. I love the black with the lemon lime. That pop is just incredible, isn't it? So cool. And then, if you want to... Um, I was thinking I would just stamp a couple.
couple of these little outline, um, what do we call these, pineapples on the inside like that. That's a, that's a good enough decoration. Now I've got lots of room to write in there. There we go. Does not wreck the tip of the marker. It does not. It doesn't wreck the tip of your marker. Now, what I did with my black markers is um, I ordered, you can order these, the black ones individually, so I ordered a couple of these. Because I've got about 70 to 80 people using them each month when I do my stamp clubs and card buffet and stuff like that, um, I, I don't use my colored markers for this flicking technique, Sue, um, but... Again, it's because if I'm doing it for, I, I use it for my personal use. Let's start there. I will use my colored markers for flicking for my personal use. No big deal. But if I'm doing um, a card where I'm flicking ink onto it with my stamp clubs or my card buffet, I will use a black marker because I can order an individual black marker if something happens to it. And I have not had to replace this marker yet. And we have done lots of flicking of ink with these in my classes so I don't know I'm just I'm a little leery to have that many people flicking on my colored markers because you know um, you have to order a whole set to replace a the color there so I'm a little careful with those but I do use them for my personal use great question okay there's our card number two now let's see let me put a few oh let me show you some more really cute cards that I made. Um, okay, so this was the first card that I made for you guys. I used the exact same layout pretty much and made this one with the pineapples. And this is one of the papers in the Tutti Frutti paper stack. It's these pineapples and there's these um, brown stripes on the back. So on this one, I didn't put a scallop square on the, from the layering squares around that, but on this one I did. And some of our Lemon Lime Twist Striped Ribbon. That's also in the Occasions Mini Catalog. Super, super cute. I haven't put anything on this one yet, but I'll probably... Oh, let me talk to you a little bit. These are cut out. These pineapples are cut out of the paper. I just cut them out. They're super easy to cut out. And... I think what I am going to do is um, take one of my cutout pineapples and just glue it right in here to decorate up my inside. I haven't done that yet. So, thanks, Claudia. I'm glad you like that banner punch template. It is a really good idea, and I did come up with it all by myself. I know, right? That hardly ever happens. <laughs> Usually I see somebody else do it. Um, so, this is just another really cute card. And then I have some... Other cards that I made using this bundle, now remember this is bundled with the four punches and the absolutely adorable cute stamp set and then you can get the Tutti Frutti paper to go with. And it's all still available but it is all retiring as of May 31st. So this is another cute card with the strawberry paper. This is just the back of the strawberry paper. Did I do anything to the inside? Not yet. But this is with the strawberry punch and our little scallop punches. Those are fun too. Here's another one. This is actually a swap card. I don't know who made it, but I got it in a swap. They use the striped paper behind this and all three of these little pineapples are raised up and then they used um, the pineapple outline here and here with the striped ribbon. Isn't that just stinking adorable? Love it. Here is another one I got in a swap, and I think this was made by Patty Spurlock, but I could be wrong. And she stamped three of those little um, strawberries and popped them up with dimensionals, and then again used a little bit of the doily and some of our ombre ribbon. This paper right here is also part of the Tutti Frutti paper set. Right there it is. Isn't that cute? What's on the back? The green. So very fun. And then here's one. Oh, this is Patty Spurlax. I don't know who made this one. This is another cool card. This is using our basket weave embossing folder. This will be available again in the new catalog. And we've got the pears in the bowl and some of the pear apple paper. And isn't this fun? Look at that. That's a whole nother technique. I'll, maybe I'll show you this sometime. 
Um, but yeah, that's super fun. So another great card. Okay, I have more. What time is it? 8.07, we're doing great. Okay, um, let me get a little bit of this stuff out of the way. I don't think I need my aqua painter anymore. We'll move that, that, and that. Oh, you know what I was gonna do? I was gonna put some of these sequins on here and then I forgot, so let's do that because it's necessary. Yep, it is. <laughs> Very necessary. Yeah, I love the basket weave folder too. I'm super excited that it is going to stick with us too. Oh, there we go. How about just a couple of these cute little sequins? This is what I'm sending. Who won the sequins? Um, Mary Healy Harmon. I have a pack of these coming your way for your comment on my Facebook Live last week. <gasps> Look at it, it just sparkles a little bit. This is super sweet. I think we need another one. And boom, there we go. Cute, 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 cute. Okay, hang tight. Let me get some more stuff out here because I have a really, really, really cool card to show you. Like, it's really cool. You're gonna be, you're gonna be amazed at my talent. <laughs> you're just kidding. <laughs> I love saying stuff like that. Okay, cleaning up, cleaning up. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. Let me take another drink of this hateful water that sucks the joy out of my life. <laughs> oh, Linda, don't worry, you're late. It's no big deal. You can watch after we're done. You can watch the whole fiasco at the start. <laughs> it was a fiasco, too. Okay, I have this card. I'm gonna wait on a little bit, but this one, let's see, which one am I showing you? I think I'm showing you this one. Okay, yep, I am. All right, you guys, so we're gonna run a little long tonight. I know you're not gonna care, right? Because I have something really cool to show you. I don't know if you've seen this yet, but this impossible card is all the rage. It's a new um, fun fold, maybe, I guess I'd call it. Here's what you do. The impossible card, and I will remember that I post these um, usually on Tuesdays on my blog. And um, I might post a few of these cards on different days this week just so that um, I have, you know, stuff to post on my blog. But you will find at some point this week all of these cards in all of their dimensions and um, clickable links. So you can just click on, oh, there's the 2D Fruity um, paper. You can click on it. It'll take you right to my store. Okay, so the impossible card. This is not impossible at all. It is super fun and pretty darn easy. We're going to start. Now, this is just a template, so I'm building a template right now. We are going to start with, hang on, let me find my little notes. Yes, I am a cheater. <laughs> it's not really cheating, though. I just am prepared, right? in case things fall apart. Okay, so this is four and a quarter by five and a half. And again, this is just my template that I'm making here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it this way on the short side. That's what that means. On the short side, I'm going to score it at two and an eighth. Do I still have that little measurement? Yeah, if you have trouble with measurements, this is a half and a quarter and an eighth is in between. So it's in between the quarter. So I'm gonna score that all the way, okay? So all we've got is a line through the middle here. And then next what I'm going to do is I'm gonna cut stuff. So I'm keeping it right here. I'm gonna put it out to an inch and I'm going to cut down from the top to the score line that I just made. Just like that. And now I'm going to, you can either put it over here and do it again, or you can turn it around and do it in an inch from, I'll show you in just a second. Probably the easiest way would be for me to do it this way. So put it over to an inch, and again, you're gonna cut from that inch down to that score line. Yep, I got there. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Inch in on each side, down to the score line. Now you're gonna turn this around and you're gonna cut it right in the middle from the bottom up to the score line. You guys with me so far? 
So this is the big impossible card. Did that seem really impossible to you? Because that's all there is to it. You're going to fold this one. The other score lines were not folding. You fold this back and forth. Okay. And now we're going to take it and go like that. Did you see that? Okay. We're going to hold this one. Hold this firm. Flip it like that. And guess what? Now we have this cool little card. Is that not the coolest? Let me show you again. It's just like this. Take this part and flip it. This is gonna stand up to show your greeting or whatever you wanna put in there and we're gonna decorate these two panels. So hang tight. All right, here comes my layers. Here's our template and... Oh, I got more template to make. I, I forgot, I got ahead of myself. I was too excited. So now the layers that go on these two pieces right here, you can either put just one layer on or two, and I'm gonna show you how I did two so you can decide what you wanna do. Um, this piece, again, is just our template. This is two and five eighths by four and an eighth. And two and five eighths by four and an eighth. And what we're going to do is we're gonna move our cutting blade out of the way. Um, we are going to score this on the long side at two inches. Super easy, right? Just like that. Boom, it's scored right there. Then we're gonna put it back in our paper cutter and we're gonna move it up to seven eighths of an inch. And if you need help with that, seven eighths is just one of those little notches away from the one inch. So there's our seven eighths and we are going to move our scoring blade out of the way because I'm gonna cut this. You could score it again if you wanted to, but geez, we need to cut it off, so why not just get it over with? So now I just cut that and then we're gonna trim this away right on that score line. So you guys with me? Super easy. We're just making the template right now. Woohoo! Okay, then if you want to do layers, so if we wanna layer another layer on top of here, I'm gonna show you how to do that. This piece is two and a half by four, and we are going to, again, score it at one and seven eighths. Now the other one was two inches, this one's gonna be one and seven eighths, because it needs to be a little smaller. One and seven eighths, and then we're gonna turn it this way, and we're going to cut down at three quarters of an inch. So, you could score it and then cut it off, but I'm just cutting right away because I'm impatient like that. So there we go. And again, we're gonna cut this block out of here. Are you guys still with me? Everybody's still awake? <laughs> I hope so. So now, this will not fit any place. What did I do wrong? Hmm. I think I cut the wrong piece, so hang tight. I got this one done, yep. Okay, so here's, um, hang tight. I wanna give this to you correctly because this is an easy card and I just cut the wrong way. So let me cut a new piece of yellow, two and a half by four. Two and a half by four. There we go. All right. So we're gonna take our two and a half by four and we are going to score it at one and seven eighths. And then what I did wrong is I should have, this is a little bit smaller, this is bigger. And what I should have done is cut off the smaller, or left the smaller end there and cut the bigger end off. That's what I did wrong. So I did it at one and seven eighths and now we are going to turn it this way and score it at seven eighths. Is that right? No, three quarters. Sorry, I'm screwing you up. Score it at three quarters. Oh my gosh, I swear to God, this is so easy. Okay, and now you can cut off the bigger square. We need to keep the smaller square. That's what I did wrong. Cut that off and get that square right out of there. There we go, here's our template. Whew. Sorry you guys, where'd my other piece go? 
doo -doo -doo, right here. And here is our piece that's going to layer perfectly, right? Okay, we got that done. Now, here comes a card. Oh, I think I need to leave this in here. I'm going to show you from start to finish how I did this. So here's our template, right? And we are going to score this at two and an eighth. You're going to score down the middle first, two and an eighth. We're going to turn it, and we are going to cut from the top to the score line at one inch. And I need a little bit more there. You could do this with scissors too, but I just prefer to use my paper cutter because I know it's going to be straight, right? That's why I do that. And here we go down to that. Yep, did good there. There we go. Now I'm going to turn this around and I'm going to cut it at two and three quarters. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Can you get all the way up there? Almost. There we go. Okay, there it is. Fold the middle panel back and forth. I just like to fold it back and forth because then it moves better. And now you're going to hold this, flip that, here's your card. Okay? Easy. All right. I wish I would have had this cut ahead of time because it's going to take me just a little bit here. Um, I am not using uh, two layers. I'm only doing one layer on here. So I am only going to be needing my template. Where did my green template go? That's the top layer. Oh, here it is. I'm only going to need this layer. So I've got a piece of the apple paper that's cut at two and five eighths by four and an eighth. And I am going to bring in my template. You can see that it lines up perfectly. This is the easiest way I know how to do this. You're just going to cut this right out of here. Make sure you're holding it firm so it doesn't move. I don't want it going any place. There we go. There's one. Now, if you're using pattern paper that matters, like my apples need to be right side up on here, I am going to do this one like this. Bring this other piece in and see which way does this one need to go. This one needs to go like that, so I'm going to put this on here like that. So my apples and my pears are right side up. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to cut this. And make sure you hold on to it. You could draw with a pencil if you want, but that, you know, there's just one step if you do it this way. And there we go. Look at that. Okay. I'm going to glue this on here. This card is really quick and easy. Like, it says, it, I don't know why they call it an impossible card because, I mean, I've, I've made cards that are complicated. This one is not at all. It is so stinking simple. This has an eighth inch margin around all the sides here. And I like to use my glue so I can slide it into place. And here we go. I'm just going to lay that down so I can see what's going on here. You have to make sure that you cut it straight, right? When you're using your scissors, you need to cut straight. Look at this one's just a little bit crooked. So make sure you cut it straight. <laughs> yeah, it's important. Okay, and then here comes the rest. Let's see. We've got, let me get these scraps out of the way. These are my templates. Now I have to save those, but I can get all the rest of this stuff out of my way. And I am going to use my Daffodil Delight for my pears. Let's see, here's a pair. I'm going to do a couple pairs here. And then this one is the pear stem. And I'm going to use soft suede for that one. Embellish the boo boo. Yeah, maybe I'll figure out a way I can do that. You're absolutely right. We can always fix stuff, can't we? I'm going to get in here so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so there's the little stem. And we're going to punch that out with the pear stamp. Punch, I mean. We're going to punch it out with the pear stamp. Nope, that was pear punch. There we go. 
And here's another one. And again, here's where those little dimensionals are going to come in handy. Here we go. Maybe I'm giving you an extra long Facebook Live tonight because I'm not going to be here next Sunday. Darn it. Like I said, I'm going to try to come up with something. I'll try to figure something out. Just watch my website because, um, or my Facebook page, because that's where I'll let you guys know what's going on. I may get back on Sunday night and just not have time to do anything. That's entirely possible. You never know. Because I, I do, I have three stamp clubs this next week, and that gets a little crazy for me. Okay. Ah, here we go. Come on. There we go. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Getting them stuck all over. I'm just going to do one little pair here. And, nope, I didn't want that pair to go that way. I wanted it to go this way. And then another little pair right next to it, like that. Oh my gosh, isn't that cute? That is stinking adorable. And then I'm going to take my tan. Here's my tan layer. Okay, so now the other layers. This, um, this layer, if you're going to do two layers on here, this top layer is one and seven eighths by three and a quarter. And the bottom layer is two, or two by three and three eighths. So I'm going to stamp on here this cute little saying that says, we make a great pair. Because that is stinking adorable. There we go. Isn't that cute? I'm using, oh, did I use crumb cake? Nope, soft suede. That's what I wanted. Soft suede. And then I'm going to bring in that pear outline. And I'm just going to stamp some outline pairs all over this layer to just give it some interest because I just thought it was kind of plain and I wanted it to look super cool and this was my, whoops, I didn't ink that up. Hang on, here comes my head. Hope my hair looks okay. <laughs> and you guys are all like rolling your eyes like, what do we care what your hair looks like? I still got my crown on. I am not a quitter. Okay, there we go. So, I just put some pear things all over it, outlines. And now we're going to glue this to the striped piece. And the striped piece is the back of the pineapple paper, which is stinking adorable. Okay. Here we go. I've got another card to show you, too, so don't go anyplace. You're going to love it. And this, oh, this gets mounted on, this is the smallest stitch shape circle, and then I use one of the layering um, circle um, scalloped. Layering circles, the scalloped one. So cute, right? And this is just a little different than some of the impossible cards that I have seen. Just a little different idea, and I love this. Here we go. And isn't this stinking adorable? Yes, it is. Oops, there we go. Okay. Now, last but not least, this part of the impossible card is a little unstable, right? So one thing we can do is we can put, um, this is three quarters by five and a half inches long. It's just a piece of crumb cake. We can put that right across here to stabilize it. But here's what I did. I took this and I ran it through that striped embossing folder at a diagonal because I figured we had diagonal lines on this little layer behind the pairs that I wanted diagonal lines on here too. And then my other genius idea was to put some of this ribbon on it to dress it up a little bit. And did anybody see my mini glue dots? Um, here they are. Um, I don't like my ribbon hanging around. Um, like, um, what do I want to say? Uh, it, it doesn't stay down good if you're using it across a long area. So I'm just using some mini glue dots on this layer to put my ribbon on here. So that it'll hold it in place nicely. And it, I don't like it gapping. Like, that's gapping just a little bit. And I hate that. I'm, I'm No, I'm really weird about stuff, right? So I'm taking a little bit of tape to tape this end down. Oops, that's a little too big. Hang on. 
All right. And then, has anybody got any questions for me? Oh, Beth, you made one of these a couple weeks ago. Um, and it was too heavy and it wouldn't stand up. Oh, well, that's not good. Um, did you put some embellishments and stuff on it? Because mine is not heavy at all. It's it's standing up all by itself. Huh. I'm sorry that happened to you. Okay. Now, I'm going to put just a little bit of glue here. And then, because glue doesn't stick well to ribbon, and I've got ribbon on both ends, I'm going to use a mini glue dot again. Just on the very end of this little strip. So I'm going to do this and make sure that's nice and even. Oh, okay, one more thing. You know, there's always one more thing with me. I have some white baker's twine and we're going to do a triple bow with the bow jig. If I have anybody new watching me tonight and you'd like to get one of these bow jigs, my friend Denise's husband makes them and they are the easiest thing in the world to make bows with. Um, just pop me an email at kelly at a stamp com so that I have your email address and I will forward it to my friend Denise and she will take care of you and you can order one of these because they're worth their weight in gold. Trust me. Here comes my cutie patootie little bow and this is actually a triple bow and it's perfect every time. We're going to wad up. Yep, I said it. Wad up. There's your redneck word of the day. <laughs> wad up a little glue dot and put this right there. And there is just the cutest little card. Isn't this adorable? Oh, you had too many balloons, Beth. Well, I'm sorry that happened. Darn it. You can maybe put a little easel on the back. A little, you know, like a picture stand. Super cute, right? The impossible card starts with this. This is all you do, and that's the card. Easy peasy. You want to see the other one? I've got another one right here. Hello. Isn't that stinking adorable? I love this. And this one, I turned the other way. You'll see that my opening is over here instead of over there. So instead of going like this, I just went like this. Okay, so that's what this one is. And then instead of putting a strip all the way across, I just used a one inch piece and put banner ends on both ends and did another little banner here. So that holds it all together. Isn't that cute? This one uses two layers. I've got black and then the lemon lime. And again, this is all tutti frutti paper. This is tutti frutti paper. And then I have one more for you. Are you guys up for one more? My gosh, can I keep you here all night? Let me show you. This one's going to be super easy because I'm just putting it together. So here is the Love What You Do stamp set. This is part of the Share What You Love bundle, right? If you order the Gotta Have It All, it comes with this amazing designer series paper. You get four sheets of each one of these designs instead of just two. And a lot of these papers are pearlized. They're beautiful if you haven't seen them yet. Here's the one that I came up with using this. So I've already cut this all out. And again, I'm gonna just flip that like that. I took these pieces and um, I've already got them cut out. Let me see, how's this? Oh, if you happen to get your pieces cut out and they don't make sense, Flip your card the other way, and then they'll work. <laughs> That's what I did. I was kind of like a boo-boo. So here we go. We're going to put this right in place. And this one right in place. And again, this is the bigger template, the bottom layer. Instead of two layers, I'm only doing one with this. There we go. And then on this little puppy, I'm gonna put this designer paper and then watch what I do with this. This is gonna be very cool. Okay, we've got that centered. Here comes the strip. It's going across here. I just decided to use another piece of designer series paper. 
So my um, Rich Razzleberry is three quarters by five and a half. And this designer series paper is, let's see, three quarters, that would be five eighths by five and an eighth. No, five and three eighths. Five eighths by five and three eighths. And I'm gonna put just a little bit of glue here. Maybe, there it is. And then some glue here. And again, this just really stabilizes that card because right now it's a little weak because we cut those pieces out. I'm gonna pop that right there and right there. What am I gonna do with this? Let me show you. Pretty excited about this. This is the little artisan kit that you get when you order that gotta have it all. And I'm going to take one of these. Well, you get these die cuts in there, these little laser cut labels. There's some small ones and there's some big ones. I'm going to take the small one and I'm going to grab my Rich Razzleberry ink pad. I've got the thank you from the Love What You Do stamp set. And I'm going to stamp that right on that laser cut tag. Isn't that pretty? They're just so delicate and pretty. I'm going to glue that. Well, do I want to glue? Nope, I think I'm going to put that on dimensionals. So I'm going to throw on a couple dimensionals here. Boom, boom. Get those ready to rock. That's the part that I'm going to put right here. Oh my gosh, this is turning out so good. I haven't made this one yet, so this is I just cut it all out. And then I've got one of these pretty little metal flowers that come in that embellishment kit. And again, that kit is part of the, I think it's part of the bundle number two and bundle number three. Let's see if I can poke myself. No, Kelly, don't hurt yourself. There we go. These are self-adhesive. They've already got adhesive on the back of them. And I'm just going to put that right there. And there we have another impossible card. Isn't that fun? And oh, to mail these, they just lie flat and you stick them in a regular size envelope. There's no weirdness there at all. Like you don't, if you made something that stuck up on here, again, you might get top heavy. Like um, who was telling me that they were top heavy? Um, but you could make your own envelope too if you wanted to. If you needed a bigger envelope, you could. But these fit right in a standard size envelope. And then when you get that um, bundle, which is available right now, it's our May promotion, you get this beautiful box that will, these cards, cards will fit in here. You can give this as a gift if you want. And when you order any one of the three bundles from me, I will give you a 30 card tutorial using this bundle. You will get pictures, dimensions, instructions for 30 different cards using this bundle. You will love it. It is my gift to you for ordering the bundle from me. So let's bring out our cards here so we can take a look at what we did. Did I miss any questions, you guys? For some reason, my computer only shows about three questions at a time. So I can't really go back and um, see the questions, which is really annoying. So if you asked a question and I didn't answer it, Please ask it again right now because I would be happy to um, answer your question. And why did my thing just freeze up? There it goes. Now we're going again. Okay, so I'm going to get all this out of here. This is the Share What You Love bundle, which I promise you will love it. It's amazing. Just going to set that over here. And here comes all of our Tutti Fruity Bundle cards that are just stinking adorable. We've got a couple impossible cards here with the Tutti Fruity also. Aren't they just sweet? I love them. Love, love, love. All right, you guys. Oh, what is my YouTube channel, Kathy? You're gonna do a search for my name, Kelly Atchison. And actually, when we get done with this live video, if you want to refresh the screen when we're finished, I will post um, 
the link to my YouTube channel right on this Facebook page, so you can find it easily. But you just type in my name, Kelly Atchison, do a search on YouTube, you will find me. And then once you find me, go to Kelly Atchison's channel. Once you get to channel, click on videos, and all the videos will come up on the screen. It's really quite cool. So that way you can look at the pictures on them and know which ones you want to watch. Could you make that and put on a regular card base so you have something to open and write in? Um, you actually could put it on a regular card base. So let's take a look at that. Let me find, um, let me see if I have a card base that's, okay, so this is a Daffodil Delight card base. The one thing that you wouldn't have um, is the cutouts, but you could certainly mount it on a card base, but you wouldn't have those holes in it. You know what I mean? And that it does look cute that way too, I guess. Um, but I, th I think that part of the charm of the card is the holes right here. You could also probably, mm, no, that wouldn't work. Never mind. I was being crazy. <laughs> you could also probably do this as a tall card. Where's my tall card? Okay. So let's pretend this is a card base. You could mount that on here. You could still cut out all these pieces and it could open like this. That might that might work, right? That's possible. Hmm, good question. I like that. Okay, so here's all of our cards. Tutti Fruity Bundle. This is an amazing bundle. Tutti Fruity Paper. All of these cute, cute little punches. Oh, and another thing I forgot to tell you. Like this punch, you can take the pineapple punch and you can punch out some of these pineapples on the designer series paper. So you don't even have to stamp them. You can just punch them out. You can also cut out some pears. You can cut out some apples. Um, let's see. We've got, where's the strawberry paper here? Strawberries. We got strawberries here. You could punch out some of these. I think that might work. But yeah, super, super cute cards tonight. And remember to share my video. Don't forget to do that. If you've tuned in since I said it, make sure you comment on the video because that's how you get um, entered to win drawings. And then don't forget to use this host code when you're placing your online order in my online store. And I'll also put that um, above the video or maybe below. So, um, It'll be easy access. I'll have a link to my store. I'll have a link to my YouTube channel. You guys will get links to everything. I sh sure appreciate you tuning in tonight. If anybody has any questions, um, I did not see them. I'm looking right now. It doesn't look like anybody has any questions. So I am going to call it a night. And I have so much work to do tonight. Boy, being sick for a week really got me behind. And uh, yeah, that's just life, right? We all deal with it. Um, thank you, Kathy. Thank you that you love the Impossible Cards. I think they're super, super cool, right? You're going to mail this. They're going to open it. Boom, it's going to pop up just like that. These And they're easy. You saw how easy they were. I did screw up that one part, and I'm sorry about that, but... This is pretty much the card. Boom, that's it. Cut, 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 boom. Easy peasy. Thanks, Mickey. Rest up. Yeah, I've got a big week ahead of me. I'll tell you that. Lots and lots of things to put in place before I can leave. Okay, you guys. Happy Mother's Day to all of you. I hope you had a fabulous day, and thanks so much for spending some of your evening with me. I do really appreciate it. Have a great week. Bye-bye.